Little do you guys know, I'm actually blind as fuck right now because I ran out of context. <laughs> so, it disheartens me to do this, but you're gonna have to deal with the glares on my eyeballs. <laughs> guys, I have had the greatest idea ever. I am so excited. I have to tell you guys right now what I have cooked up in my little kitchen of ideas, okay? <laughs> How do I even express this? Animation memes, do you know what they are? Huh? If you don't, that's okay, don't even worry. Animation memes are not <laughs> these type of memes. They are animations that the art community does and they call them memes because we take an idea from someone else and make it our own, you know, like a meme. And it's passed around and some go really viral, some don't. Anyway, I used to be a part of that. I used to love doing that constantly. That was like my life in middle school and into high school. Animation memes. So it's safe to say that I have been into animation like my whole life and it's something that I wanted to continue, you know, as I got older, but unfortunately that did not happen. <laughs> I have not animated in two years, like a full thing. I've just like messed around a little bit. Nothing has been seen by anyone in a long time, okay? Here's the thing, for the last about four years, I have struggled to get myself to work on a project, it either takes me a long time, I become disinterested and scrap the whole thing, and it just has gotten me nowhere. And, and I keep trying to find something to get me back on track, to get me back into animating because I love it, it is so fun and time consuming, but the result is always so satisfying. That being said, my skills from when I used to animate when I was, you know, a kid, my skills in art have definitely advanced, I would say. And so, come, come. So as a kid, I was always extremely self-aware, but as I got older, I got a little too self-aware, you know? Where perfectionism consumes your whole life. I'm sure a lot of you that are also perfectionists know how painful that is and how hard it is to actually get anything done. No matter how much you want to, that perfectionism, I'll be bashing you in the head. It just gets nowhere, I get nowhere. So here's the thing, I got the plan in my noggin. I was looking at my old YouTube channel where I used to post animation memes and suddenly I was like, how cool would it be if I made my first animation meme? What if I remade it, you know? And then I was like, hold on a second. And I, I looked through all of my videos and I saw potential. There is potential. And I've had this idea for a long time, the separate idea of taking the ideas that I had as a kid and bringing them to life to like almost pay tribute to the ideas and the creativeness that I had as a kid that I never had the skill and patience to see to life, you know? I didn't really have the a knowledge of anatomy, the knowledge of what my art style could be. It was just always facing forward never, you know, going away from that. It was never really straying too far from what was comfortable. And what I want to do, this is gonna be a long series because I have a lot of videos that I want to recreate. Instead of forcing myself to try and create something new where I bash it to pieces because it's not good enough, because it doesn't look like how I want it to, I'm going to take what I've already created as a kid and I'm going to remake each and every animation meme that I have ever created. It's gonna be so fun, oh my goodness. I'm very nervous because for years, I have been getting nowhere with my animations. I always tell myself, like, yeah, this is it. You know, I sit down to animate, I'm like, this is it. I'm gonna finally make something and I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna see it to the end and I'm gonna post it for everyone else to see and it never happens. It never happens. <laughs> so I thought taking away that critical idea, like I need to have a good idea, this needs to look perfect. I'm taking that all away. I'm going to take every single animation meme that I have ever made that's public on my YouTube channel and I'm going to recreate them with the ideas and the vision that I had as a kid. So no matter how edgy it gets, and it's gonna get edgy, okay? This is for you, little Sam. This is for you. We're gonna do it because hell yeah, <laughs> bro. There is such a chokehold on what you can acceptably make these days. Like if things are too edgy or too serious, people are like, well man, what's going on here? And you know what? It's okay to be a little cringe. 
We love it. It's good. It's healthy even. Everyone is a little cringe. And today we embrace it. Today, I embrace all the ideas that I had as a kid. I'm gonna try and bring them to life. I'm gonna incorporate my own ideas that I have now, especially with all the animation memes that have to do with my character Lucy. She has been extremely fleshed out since all of these animation memes had come to, but this is where the ideas for her started. So I'm super excited for this because I can now take the more fleshed out version of her and recreate what little me would have absolutely wanted to see done with her ideas. And I'm just so super stoked. I feel like this is a great, huge long-term warm-up basically and you know I don't even know if I have the same love for animation as I did when I was a kid because I haven't done it in years like truly done it so I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to see how it goes to see if I like it so I hope you guys stick around for the journey it's gonna be um, a long series because I want to do every single animation meme and I'm only going to do one video per animation that I recreate so it's gonna take a while to finish to see through the end so if this is something you're interested in definitely follow me on this adventure because it's gonna be super fun I don't know how it's gonna go but we're gonna see I haven't started yet but I mean obviously you clicked on this video so I must have started <laughs> let's, let's take a look so I'm going to be starting from the very top from the very beginning my very first animation meme that I ever created it's called karma if any of you are watching that used to be in the animation community, you would probably recognize this animation meme because it was really huge back in like 2016. That's gonna be where we start. It's a really simple animation meme. It's going to be just shoulder up, repeating different emotions. I'm gonna play the old one for you right now. we're going to spice it up a bit. We're gonna see how fluid we can get the animations. I'm going to try and limit myself to not getting too ambitious with it for our first one because I don't want to burn myself out and I want to really slowly get myself back into it. I think my biggest problem with wanting to get back into animation after taking a break for so long is my perfectionist mind is like, hey look, look how not spiced up your animations are. Imagine what you could do now. And I just try to jump right into it even though I haven't animated in years so clearly it's not gonna go the way you want it to go. Animation is super hard no matter how good of an artist you are. It is hard to understand the different fluids and the motions and like how many frames you need to make it look fluid. Sometimes the more frames is not the better, you know? It, it's just a whole process and I'm super excited about it. And I probably look like a huge nerd with my glasses, but that's fine. This kind of fits the topic because I am literally geeking out right now. I'm so excited. So anyway, I'm sorry. We're moving in to our first animation meme. See you guys on the other side. And immediately I felt the presence of overthinking already weighing me down before I'd even opened my damn canvas. I felt like I was so excited for this that I was actually scared to start and fall flat immediately. The fear that this was just another idea that would slip into the void was scary for me because honestly, this was something I genuinely wanted to accomplish and see through to the end. Something that I had failed to do for years. People don't often talk about the internal turmoil when there's fear of failure. Perfectionism is often an offhanded, oh ha ha, <laughs> I struggle with finishing things. But most can attest that it's genuinely a hard thing to overcome. The crushing weight that comes with the collision of ambition and perfectionism. So I sat my ass down and got to work after consuming some sustenance in the form of a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> Once I had started with the sketches, I felt like I was quickly easing up on myself. And as I reached somewhere around the fourth frame, I was already having fun. I started to loosen up on the sketch and on the frame by frame movement. You can definitely tell that at some point my sketches got way too clean. But I eventually eased up and just let those creative juices flow. <laughs> I just wanted to do a little update. I actually started on it. I'm doing too many frames. I definitely realized that, but I'm just like in too deep. <laughs> I just keep going. I'm like, 
you know, I'm trying to get back into it. I used to have a process and I'm trying to find that process again. So right now I'm just so focused on the sketch. I don't want to line it and then it doesn't look fluid. So I definitely like that I'm focusing on so many frames. I want this animation to be fluid. I want it to be expressive. I'm not even through like all of the emotions that I want to do yet, but I'm also afraid that I'm sticking too close to the previous sketch like the previous frame behind it and I don't want to do that. I want to not feel restrained because you'll notice through my sketching process that it starts to get really clean. That's my bad. I think the biggest thing is that as a kid when I would animate I wouldn't sketch. I'd sketch the first frame then line it then I would just go from there and like that was how I animated and like I feel like that's what made the final outcome not as fluid as it could have been. It's a new process for me that I'm going through, so I really want to remind myself that I can be sketchy. Nothing has to be neat. It can be messy. I'm gonna line it all when I'm done. So I'm just, that's where I'm at right now. We have 13 frames and we're just, we're scooting along. I feel really good about this, so I'm really glad I did this. <laughs> Yay! Part of me wondered if I should have changed the character's design more, but again, I reminded myself that this was just the first step and I didn't want to, you know, jump too much into it when I just wanted to focus on pushing myself to finish an animation. Next time, I can worry more on, you know, design, but right now, this was just the initial push. You know what I'm saying, man? This character is actually, funnily enough, based off of one of my old Minecraft skins, so it was kind of nostalgic and a little funny to be animating it again. In the original version of this meme, much like the first one I made, the different actions presented are cut to without having the transitions animated, and for some reason, I had thrown that idea out the window, and I was trying to animate all of the transitions to the poses so they flowed in one motion. Okay, so it is day two, and I just got home from work. I'm feeling good. I looked at my sketches today, and I, you know, I'm not really feeling all of them, but I'm hoping that I can spice it up when I go to line it, and then I'll like the outcome. Because, you know what? The ones I don't like the most are the ones that are just in between frames anyway, so I gotta chill. I gotta relax, because in between frames aren't even supposed to be that good. They're often supposed to look a little scary anyway. Maybe I should let loose a little more, you know? But whatever, we're moving on. I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but so far I'm feeling pretty good about it. And I also got a commission today. <laughs> Yay! Exciting. If you guys are interested in my commissions, I will link them down below. If you want some art from me, want to give me some money <laughs> so I can buy me and my rabbit food, that would be so epic. Thank you so much! Okay, let's, let's continue. I quickly realized after taking a peek at the frames in motion that I was going to have to add way, way more frames and have way more of a dramatic movement to get the flow that I was hoping for. I realized quickly that all of the in-betweens would look cleanest when made with the line art, so I finished up the sketches and moved on. I sketched too many frames when that wasn't necessary, so definitely took note of that for next time. Hey y'all. <laughs> it's like two or three hours later. I finished the sketch, now I'm just gonna go in with line art. I think I'm gonna test it out in Premiere Pro. Like I'm gonna take all the layers and just go to town. We'll see how it goes. I'm hopeful. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna see if I like it. And then I'm gonna line and do a ton of in-between. Then I'm gonna put the video together, render it, add a ton of cool effects, and I'm gonna love it. Once I'd put all the sketch frames together, I got a better feel for what I was going for. I got to see where I needed more in-between frames, as well as where I might need less. You can see the way I started out animating, the sketch is heavier in the beginning. Then when I realized it looked too stiff, I loosened up more. Then came the dreaded action of lining. I think this is where I've always gotten caught up the most. Not that I've ever gotten this far with a fully animated sketch process in a few years, but... How was I supposed to comfortably move all of my layers to get them ready to be lined? Clip Studio Paint is painfully confusing and this definitely is something that held me back the most because for years I tried to research it but I was never patient enough and I also just wasn't finding the right information. Having too many layers stresses me out. I feel like I actually had exposure therapy to having too many layers because it definitely got better to manage and like just accept the more I animated. Luckily, it didn't take too much research or time to get a better understanding of the animation features on Clip Studio. And once I had gotten a better grasp, I was basically unstoppable. <laughs> it is 8 p.m. <laughs> I've been working on this since 12. And I have so many frames left to do. 
I feel like I will get faster eventually, but like not right now because I feel like I'm still getting into the groove of the whole thing and I'm trying not to be a perfectionist about it. It took me a little bit to figure out my process, but then I did and now I'm, I'm good. And you know, I could keep going, but I think I'm going to stop here because I feel like if I push myself to keep going right now, the frames might not turn out as good because I'm just not feeling it because you know, I have been working for eight hours straight. <laughs> So I think I'm going to I'm going to stop. I'm going to take a break and we're going to revisit this tomorrow. Yay. I'm glad that I I got some more work done and hopefully everything works out. It's a journey. What can I say? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had realized way too late that the animation look I was going for would not look as clean due to the pen that I chosen to line with. I'm not sure why I decided to, you know, animate with a pencil texture. That was definitely not a good idea. Um, taking notes for next time, definitely wanted to animate with a solid pen. So I didn't let that get me down because, you know, I realized, hey, it's too late. I'm not going to restart because then I will probably not finish this. So I just kept on going and thank God, you know, spoiler alert, but it doesn't look bad. <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. Everything's good. So I'm on a roll now and I'm determined. For the first time in years, I was actually certain that I was going to finish a project and this actually motivated me more. Maybe it's the fact that I'm just finally on medication for my ADHD, but I was still really proud of myself for getting here. Once I had lined all of the sketches and done in-betweens for each of them, I threw them into my editing software to get a better feel for where I was. And to my dismay, I was a little farther from finishing than I had initially anticipated. Of course I knew that I needed the transition frames to tie together from the second half of the animation to the first in order to get the fluid animation I was looking for, and to get the timing to the animation and the song right, I had to draw another handful of in-betweens. I definitely had realized lots of flaws in my process already, but this is actually a good thing because, you know, next time I'll be able to improve on these things and I was taking lots and lots of mental notes. I felt a little disappointed that I was farther from finishing than I thought I was, and I could feel my motivation for this project dwindling significantly because of it, but I knew that at some point I would probably have to push myself to get this done. Dusty. Hi everyone, it has officially been one week since I started this project. And we're still lining and it's fine. I'm really proud of how it's turning out so far. I'm super excited. Oh. Hey, hey, look at me. Thank you. I'm trying to just focus on the process and getting it done and actually finishing it before I criticize myself to death. And then we'll deal with that when we get there because I, not only am I a better draw, not only am I a better artist now than I was, you know, six years ago, obviously, I'm also more tech savvy and I've learned a lot about editing and I have better <laughs> software. So I'm super excited to finish this. I'm just, I have so many ideas of what I'm going to do for editing. Like, I'm just excited. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight as much as I would love that. <clears throat> Finishing lining, by the way, not the whole project. <laughs> Hopefully we get pretty far. I don't know. I've been pretty proud of how fast I've been working and the outcome's actually good. And I feel like the more I do this, the the faster I'll get, so. It's all part of the process, baby, what can I say? <laughs> Thankfully, once I got over the initial upset with the change in expectations, um, albeit it took a while, I was able to get back into the flow of finishing the frames. And so after officially finishing all of the line art with an added two day break, I managed to drag my ass back to this project in a timely fashion. I managed to color all the frames in the span of two afternoons. I stuck with flat colors and stayed as close to the original colors as possible, just dimming them down in saturation a little bit to, you know, better fit the vibe, I guess. So with the frames completed, now came the fun part, throwing them all together. I took my time with this and I landed on a few different timing options until I settled on one that felt right. I actually had made a rough idea in Premiere Pro before taking my project over to After Effects to throw in lighting, shadows, and movements. So here is that draft. Once 
once that was finished, I had wasted no time jumping into finishing the final piece. Also, please excuse me, I forgot to record my editing process several times. But I'm very happy I had managed to finish the editing in one night, even given the fact that I experimented a lot throughout. I still had a pretty good general feeling of where I wanted the editing to go. Again, I took lots and lots of mental notes of where I could better improve my whole process for my next animation, and I was really happy to find that I was actually already looking forward to making my next one, before I'd even finished. I was finally at that stage where I could let my mind wander into the okay, what's next thoughts without the guilt of an unfinished project looming over me. I was actually there. But anyway, the suspense must be killing you. So here she is, my completed remake of my first ever animation. Well guys, we did it. What can I say? <laughs> I can't quite express the relief that I have felt throughout this process for finally completing something. <laughs> for knowing that I could, for seeing that I can make something that I had thought of for a long time and like actually do it and not just let the idea die. <laughs> you know? This video is proof of it. I don't really know how to express how much this means to me. Take my word for it because wow. This has been such a fun experience. Uh, I've had so much fun making everything and I'm surprised that I enjoyed it as much as I did and I didn't feel disappointed with myself from the very beginning. Like I actually was like, okay, we're doing this. And then I was like, okay, we're doing this. And I was like, oh my God, okay, we're still doing this. It's happening. And I know that it doesn't seem like a, like a big deal. It's all about those, those small battles that you win. So if you guys struggle with something like this, whether it be art or literally anything else, hobbies or otherwise, whatever it takes, give yourself that mental push and just jump into it. It might take you a while and that's fine. But I promise you that that feeling you get afterwards is totally worth it man i'm ready to jump back in i'm ready to keep going and this is just the tip of it right i'm so excited i'm so excited for my next project and honestly i feel like when i i don't think about it too deeply i'm like yeah i'm gonna do it it's gonna happen and uh, it's gonna be so fun it's gonna be so great failure is growth fearing failure is obviously not <laughs> It took me fearing and subsequently failing over and over and over again for years to finally make it to this point, to finally push myself through and to find that happiness in an area that was previously a huge mental struggle. Procrastination is no joke, folks. It sucks. This video is about perseverance for real and just animation and making a project, having ambitions and ideas and actually seeing them through. I'm, I'm really excited to, to keep going. So. so with my first remake completed and my love for animation being rekindled, finally, I feel certain that this is going to be a series worthwhile and I hope that you guys are going to come along on this little adventure with me. I think I'm going to stick to making these older animations for this series. I'm going to start to deviate from and like expand upon the original concepts a little more than I did for this first one because A, it's much more exciting and I can definitely get more practice in, uh, try different things, and grow faster with animation. These animations have so much potential for experimenting and letting loose with new ideas that I have now that I didn't have when I was, you know, 14 maybe making these. I'm also not sure that I'm going to be doing every single animation like I had said I was going to at the beginning of this video because the more I look into them all I'm like some of these don't really 
have enough substance to be remade. Like, I don't really feel the pizzazz. I'm, I don't feel interested. And if I'm not interested, it's not going to happen. So I'm not going to put that on the plate unless I really think I'm going to do it. So we're not really sure there. Definitely let me know what you guys think. So the completed animation will be linked below on my other channel, my art channel, and you can check that out. You can also check out all my older ones. In fact, I'm going to be linking the three contestants from my older animations that are I'm trying to decide on which one I'm going to do next. So if you guys want to check those out, you guys can uh, let me know down in the comments which one you think I should remake next. I think that will be super fun. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you're interested in joining me on this animation journey, please make sure to check back in with me next time. Or if you just enjoy my videos, you might like any other ones I have on my channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye!